Hey, I'm Keith. I'm a California realtor that builds co-living spaces and I build vans. I actually didn't build this one though. Mine are a bit better, but this is a nice simple build. Um, to start off, a little bit about this van. It's a Ford Transit 350. Um, it was a passenger vehicle um, and then obviously got stripped and converted. Um, it's a it's a 3.5 liter engine with a turbo. It's got EcoBoost, so you're saving uh, gas money, especially this time it sucks, gas sucks, but uh, this thing get gets about 15.3 miles per gallon, so it's pretty good. Um, as you can see, that the windows are like 90% tinted, so I really like the stealth of this van along with the color. It's kind of badass in my opinion. I blacked out the rims um, to show off the van. This is the interior of the van. Um, simple build. It's got a queen size bed. Um, it's stationary bed. The kitchen is um, obviously you got a lot of counter space. Um, this is butcher block, stained. It's kind of nice. This is a 15 by 15 inch uh, sink. We got the button for, for the pub right here. So all the water stuff is right here. It's got two tanks. So this one's it's each five gallons. So it's got ten gallons. Um, so once this is empty, you kind of just switch it over. You got another uh, five gallons of water to use. Yeah. So it's it's a, it's a decent amount for cooking and simple stuff um, and then you got a fridge and a freezer right here um, I don't know if you can see the from there but uh, I mean it's empty it's not much to look at but it's it's a, it's a good size you know fridge it's not one of those like mini ones it's you know taking up the whole thing here so yeah um, a lot of room there and then the, the one thing I like about this fan too is it's it's a very simple build but there's also things that you can do to upgrade it so for someone who wanted to buy this van um, it would be good for someone who wants to kind of make it their own like you got still like obviously you could see the metal showing and stuff um, you can kind of do your own thing covering it or you know put framing and then put tongue and groove boards um, or whatever and then obviously you got thousand cabinets and some storage space all along above the kitchen and here as well um, some of the Window reflectors are in there. I got the fan right above you, so you're just chilling here. Open the door, you got some more cool air could be coming yeah. in. Yeah, what kind of fan is that? Uh, Max Air fan. Um, and then all the electrical stuff is here. So you get the battery, which is under the garage over there, which I'll show you. It's a 200 amp battery. Um, the solar panels, there's, there's four solar panels, each one's 100 watts. So you got 400 watt solar panels um, and a 2000 watt uh, inverter. Um, so overall the electrical is decent, especially for like a simple build like this. You shouldn't run out, have, have any problems with it or run out. So this is the uh, garage. It's a good amount of space for storage or you want to put a bike in here or something and take the wheel off. Um, and here's just like uh, the battery, which still has some space if you want to put some small stuff in there for storage. And this is the shower, so you can just pull this out, hang it up wherever or use it to rinse your feet off or whatnot. Um, and then these are self-reflective for the windows if you want to cover the windows from the heat coming in. The most common question is where where can you do your business? Where can you go to the bathroom? Bathroom, go to a gym or something. I mean, <laughs> if you're a guy, you can find a bush. <laughs> but uh, yeah, I mean, obviously a lot of other vans have some showers and stuff like that. I mean, for a simple build like this, I've, I personally, like being in a van and stuff, I've never needed it. Like, I just go to a gym or whatever to, to go do my business. Um, but yeah. yeah 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 honestly all my friends that live in vans i mean they have these like thousand dollar toilets that they never yeah. use i don't find a need to you know pull out a toilet <laughs> yeah totally do the thing like if you're in the middle of the woods or somewhere and you just don't want to get out of the van i see why that could be you know useful yeah there's a lot of stuff that i surprisingly don't use in the van and it kind of just there because it looks cool and you might use it but yeah. that's why i like Vans like this are just like, it's super simple. Like almost everything in here you will use or do use. I mean, you hardly use the sink, but you know, you do use it at some point. Hey, so uh, tell you a little bit more about the van in the front. Um, it's really cool with this van uh, is it's got Bluetooth, hands-free calling, stuff like that. So all the keypads right here. It's a cool setup. It's got a backup camera. Um, the AC obviously heat works there's also uh, in the back the AC still works so we kept it in there um, and it's just a tube that comes out of the back near the bed so if you turn the AC in the for the for the back that works too so you can get some AC back there hey okay, so thanks for checking out my van uh, this van is for sale if you're interested in it so I'm asking 65,000 or a reasonable offer it's got 31,000 miles on it again 
And if you ever need any van stuff, any van help, van conversions, interested in buying this van or another van, you can go to mobilelifeconversions.com. You can message me on there. Um, and if you need any uh, California real estate help um, throughout any part of California, my main locations are Sacramento, Los Angeles, and San Diego for both van and real estate. You can go to keithjmintz.com. Um, or if you're looking for moving into a co-living space, you could also uh, hit me up for that. So, anyways, thanks again. Hey, peace.